again. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Sandra Hart of Life Over 60. Today I'm going to do a review on um, Benigma and also uh, Lanacorp B Venom Cream. Now these two creams come from New Zealand and they have very special qualities that we're going to be talking about today. New Zealand is without a doubt the most beautiful country that I have ever visited. We first went there in 2004. It has it all, the white sands and clear water, the snowy mountains towering over still lakes, palm trees and waterfalls, secluded beaches and hidden caves, native culture and thermal waters. It really is quite beautiful, and it's also the home of the Manuka flowering bush. Now this bush is very important because the bees make Manuka honey from it, and it is considered to be a very healthful honey that has restorative powers. The New Zealand sheep bring another byproduct and that's lanolin. Lanolin is called wool wax or grease wax. It's a wax secreted by the sebaceous glands of wool-bearing animals. Lanolin is used by us uh, from the domestic sheep breeds that are raised specifically for their wool. Now, several skincare products come from the Manuka honey and the Manuka Bee Venom. And that would be Benigma. That is a very popular skincare product. And Lanocare Cream. I have talked about both of these that I would be reviewing. So today we're going to take a look at the honey bee venom that's used cosmetically to fool the skin into thinking it has been lightly stung with the toxin melitin. That's a toxic protein in bee venom that causes localized pain and inflammation, but also has a moderate antibacterial and antifungal effect. Welcome back. This is Sandra with Life Over 60. Today I'm going to be doing a review of a product that I have been trying for about two and a half months called Benigma and another Lanacorp which I have been using maybe for about six months. But I was contacted by the Benigma company and asked if I would do a review and I said yes but whatever review I do it really has to be honest. So, because I usually do not accept products from companies unless it's something I buy myself and I really like, and then I'll review it. Both of these products come from New Zealand. Both of them have Manuka honey in them, and I explained a little bit about Manuka honey in the uh, beginning of this video. And they also contain bee venom. Now, bee venom... Uh, is supposed to uh, improve the collagen production in your skin and the elastin project, uh, production. Elastin is what makes your skin nice and tight, and collagen is what renews the cells and makes regrowth of uh, your skin. So it this bee venom supposedly has both of those qualities that when applied to your skin will stimulate the blood in your in your face so that it stimulates um, the collagen and the elastin qualities 
of your skin. I was really concerned about the bees because I know when bees sting, they lose their stinger and then they die. But how the beekeepers do this is a very interesting process. They have a glass plate or a panel, a glass panel that would be like a window pane beside the hive. And within that pane, there's just a very slight electric charge. So when the bee is around it, it thinks that, that there's something going on. And so it is encouraged to sting that panel. But when it stings that glass pane, it just hits the glass pane and it doesn't lose its stinger. So the bee survives. And what happens is all of that bee venom turns into a brown, very fine powdery substance. And then that substance is used in the production of uh, the bee venom creams that you see. Now, I was not able to get the amounts of ingredients in Big Nigma. They do list the ingredients Usually on the label. The most or the, the, the product or the ingredient that is in the cream or in whatever product you're using is usually listed first. And as they go along, the least amount of a certain product will be toward the end of the list of ingredients. So I really do not know how much bee venom is in the Benigma, but I did use it for two and a half months. And I'll show you the before and after pictures. I One half of my face has Benigma on it and the other half I used a Lanacorp bee venom mask. So you will have to make up your mind when you look at the pictures. Quite honestly, I could not tell the difference at the end of the trial period uh, on whether or not one of them was better than the other. I do know that I do believe in bee venom. I do think that it does help improve the elasticity and the collagen production in your skin. Your skin feels nice and soft. My skin does anyway. But I honestly will let you decide. When you look at the pictures, if you feel that one side of my face looks better than the other, I honestly, and I really have to be very honest about it, I cannot see the difference between the Lanacorp product, which is less expensive, under $30, sometimes less, than the Benigma that is a hundred or two hundred dollars. It depends on, you know, where you buy it. But there is a link below for the Benigma that if you do purchase it through this link, you do get a discount. I, and I know bee venom per ounce is very, very, very expensive because when you consider how many bee stings it would take to uh, gather that fine brown powdery uh, bee stings, uh, venom substance. It would really take a lot of bee stings. But I really am going to be honest with you that I really can't tell the difference. The only difference physically when I put the Benigma on my face, I, I didn't feel any type of sensation. It was, it was a pleasant sensation, but nothing really extreme. But when I used the Lanacorp one, I, my face felt hot. Um, I always felt like something was working in there. So I don't know whether it has more bee venom in it than the Benigma, but I do know that for price point, the Lanacorp is a really good value and it does the same thing as Benigma. But each of us is different, and so therefore I don't want to say, you know, the Lanacorp is better than the Benigma, because each end of, you're, you're an individual, and each individual has different types of skin, different preferences. Maybe you like the fragrance better in one than the other. Maybe you don't like the stinging feel 
that Lanacorp gives, and you'd rather have a very soft, mild feeling of the Benigma. Now, the ingredients in both of them, and, and I'm really talking about the bee venom, it causes the body to direct the blood toward the area that stimulates the production of the naturally occurring chemicals, collagen and elastin. Now, collagen strengthens the body tissue, while elastin is the protein that helps the skin to remain taut and, and, and taut, I guess, and bounce back into the shape after being pressed or pinched. It's like lying on a pillow on your side. You know, it, your face gets kind of uh, squished up, but then when you get up, it kind of goes back in, in the same place. Well, that venom also has effect of relaxing the muscles as it is claimed. I think that I have done my due diligence on both of these products. But again, if you are allergic to bee stings, if you have any allergies to uh, any of the ingredients that I have shown you, you know that you cannot use either one of these products, especially the bee venom. If you're allergic to bee stings, this, these creams are absolutely not for you at all. But each of us has a personal preference and what is right for one person may not be right for another. But as far as I am concerned, as I said before, I didn't see a difference in either one of the products. They both were good, but I personally, I like the feeling of the warmth of the Lanacorp Bee Venom Mask. I really felt that it did kind of make my face a little pink and stimulate it a little bit. And if that stimulation is the blood flow coming to my skin, that will help produce uh, more collagen and elastin in my skin, then that's a good thing. But if you are sensitive skin and you just want something that feels kind of mild on your skin, but yet you know that it has ingredients, Manuka honey, uh, and bee venom in it that will help your skin, then that one is for you. I hope I haven't confused everybody, but it just, I think, is a personal preference. I do believe in bee venom. I do think it is a good thing for your skin, and it just depends upon whether you like something that really makes your skin tingle and feel warm for a little while, or whether you like something that's very mild and you don't feel that but it makes me question just how much bee venom is in Benigma. Since they uh, don't give the percentage qualities, um, I'm just not too sure. So that is my review for uh, the bee venom products. And if you ever have a chance to travel and you're thinking of somewhere to go, please, Put New Zealand on your bucket list because it indeed is such a beautiful country. I have been there twice now, and each time it, the scenery and the people are so kind. The indigenous people are very interesting. They make beautiful totem poles and wonderful arts and crafts. But it's just a wonderful, wonderful place to visit. And of course, you know, your eyes and your soul will really get the benefit of the beauty of the landscape and the people. Thank you for coming. I hope to see you again. And I have decided what I am going to do is I'm going to put up all of my Behind the Magic Mirror uh, podcasts, audiobook. Uh, I'm going to put them all up. So if there's someone out there that wants to just binge and do the whole book, they'll be able to do that instead of have to waiting five weeks before the whole book is finished. So I am going to put out a separate playlist for Behind the Magic Mirror if you are interested in my memoir uh, about my life. I love having you and thank you so much for starting 2018 with me. Um, I'm wearing eye makeup for the first time today after my cataract operation, and it feels good to start feeling like a woman again. And uh, thank you. I love each and every one of you, and I, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate your coming and visiting me on Life Over 60. And don't forget to realize that 
and how awesome you are. Be kind to yourself and share the love. Take care and I'll see you soon.